All right, gentlemen, here we go. This is going to be a quick one right here. Today's whiskey is the Mars Whiskey 3 and 7. This one is from uh, Humbo Shuzo, I believe is the name of the company behind Mars. And Mars has two distilleries, I believe, and this one is from the Shinsu Distillery. I paid about 1,540 yen with the tax included for this one. And this one comes in at 40% ABV. Now, the reason I bought this is because uh, I'm writing my whiskey book, 50 Japanese Whiskies. I was done with all the whiskey reviews, but unfortunately, one of these distillers inside of the book did not like my reviews. And uh, they sent me a cease and desist letter from their lawyer and asked me to remove all mention of their name inside the book. So I had to replace those three whiskeys with three new ones. And this is one that I could go out and buy a Japanese whiskey of short notice that is not that was never intended to be inside of this book or the next one that I've already started working on. And uh, I thought that this would be a good replacement and it was a quick find. So, uh, this one is a mixture of malt and grain, and not on the company's website, but on various other websites, such as uh, the Japanese auction website Rakuten and Amazon Japan, where it is legal for you to buy liquor on Amazon Japan, but not Amazon US. So, on Amazon Japan and Rakuten, they mention uh, that the three and seven stands for three years of grain whiskey distillation and uh, seven years of malt whiskey distilled. And hence, that's why you have the name. And I think aside from that, um, I don't have any other notes about this. Uh, Japan is coming up with some rather creative ways of <laughs> naming their whiskeys because if this were Scotland or the UK or something like that, right? You're only allowed to write on the label the youngest whiskey that you have inside of the bottle. So if you have a blend of three years and seven years and another 18 years inside of the bottle, you can only put three years on the label of the bottle. So this one is kind of a creative way of going around, not just labeling this uh, Mars Whiskey 3 or something like that. They put three and seven, like they made it, they put the age statements as the name of the whiskey, so to speak, as to circumvent that. But inside of Japan where the laws are very laxed and you could get around things like that quite easily, well, uh, they are going to do that here. So Japan is very lawless in that sense. But anyways, let's not ramble about that. This is a very cheap whiskey. They circumvented the laws. We'll see whether it's good or not. So let's go ahead and crack this open. And the review will be forthcoming. All right. Anyways. I thank you gentlemen for watching. Salute to you wherever you may be out in the world. And as always, gentlemen, you know what to do. Keep it classy.